3 o'clock in the morning trying to find where he lives in there. Hey, hey, Dan, Dan, sir, is that you in there? Oh, man, how you doing, brother? Come on in. All right, where's the door? Over here, uh, over this way. It's over there. I'll be right in. You ought to trim these trees. I see you got dogs, too. <laughs> There you go. You got no porch oh. light out here. How oh. you doing, Dan? Hi, Red. You ready to go bass fishing or what? Fantastic. Well, I don't know that much about it. What are we going to use? Oh, for hey, let me show you. I've got you all rigged up here. In the fishing game, nice guys don't finish last. It just takes a while to acknowledge their contributions and accomplishments, especially those who've enjoyed a long and distinguished career in the fishing industry. Today, we honor a man of many abilities, angler, communicator, educator, and all-around nice guy, a man of many hats, and many hairdos. A man for all seasons and for all the right reasons. Dan Sura grew up along the shores of Lake Michigan in Racine, Wisconsin, catching the most modest of fish in the Root River and other local waters near his boyhood home. As a chemist for S.C. Johnson and Sons in Racine, he became an expert in the formulation and manufacturing of popular outdoor products like insect repellent, floor wax, and of course, he took the pledge along with him on his many fishing forays along the northern frontier. After all, if you're going to rough it in the wild, you might as well do it neatly. Early in his aspiring career, Dan consulted on product development for Johnson Fishing Tackle, lending considerable expertise, insight, and enthusiasm to the process. On weekends, he performed so many in-store promotions throughout the state of Wisconsin for a popular fishing electronics manufacturer that he was accorded the prestigious title of shopping mall hero by his contemporaries. Dan, it seems, has one of those familiar faces that everyone seems to recall, be it as a person of interest in the national press or in his early career as a weird Al Yankovic impersonator, he began cutting a wide swath through the multimedia business. So much so that the Jim Beam Company later immortalized his image in porcelain, and you can't get more famous than that. Determined to press on regardless and expand his fishing skills and knowledge, Dan became active in southeastern Wisconsin fishing organizations, such as the Okachi Fishing Club and Walleyes Unlimited USA. During this time, he met and befriended fishing legends like Bill Binkelman, Joe Earhart, Jim Rolstead, and of course, Alan Ron Lindner, with whom he would maintain a lifelong friendship that eventually led to a paying gig in the fishing industry. Throughout a long and distinguished career at InFisherman, Gemini Sports Products, and Lindner Media Productions. Meanwhile, today I'm gonna to go out and chase a few muskies. <laughs> and I forgot that line. <laughs> Dan's contagious enthusiasm, communication skills, and slowly improving fishing prowess made him a popular television host and seminar speaker, not only in the shopping malls of northern Wisconsin, but all across North America. Not a big dog, but boy, he hit right. I'll, I'll pull you out. I'll go get you. Keep, keep his nose up, Mr. Sir. Yeah, get him out of the reed bed. Here, I'm, I'm going wide open out the other direction. <laughs> wow, did you see that, James? I like that. I really like that. That's a nice one. I'll take him. If you don't want to reel him in, well, I'll, 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 I'll reel him in for you. Listen, I played Net Boy too many years for you. What? You heard me. I like that hat, you know. You've been so, casting and hitting yourself in the head lately? No, 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 no. you got to understand, you know, you got to be quick in this game. And I figured that one way to beat somebody like you who catches all of these big fish, I just wear my tackle box on my head. I mean, come on, it's beautiful. You take a look at that hat, and that's model is after my hero from MASH, Henry. It's my Henry, Henry hat. You're in David, you're in trouble today. I'm going to whomp you, boy. Getting back to business here. Uh. <laughs> so, Mr. Sir, how are they biting this morning? Okay, we're solid. We're hooked up here. Hey, I just got back off the water. I was fishing this morning. I'm down at the I IGFA in Fort Lauderdale. Sales meeting and man, have they got some fantastic new products. And I was fishing with one of them this morning, and what do you see what I caught? Look at this puppy. Look at this broadbill swordfish. Look at this. 967 pounds. Caught him right over there. It's absolutely awesome. As a warm weather aficionado who ironically found himself transplanted to the wilds of northern Minnesota, 
Fan frequently stated that his life goal was to never venture north of Niswa again. As proof, his rare vacations focused on distant tropical forays to the Caribbean and Costa Rica, where boat drinks and flip-flops revealed his true passion and status as parrot head cum laude. In fact, rumor has it that Dan was the inspiration for Hemingway's classic story, The Old Man in the Sea. Well, if the shoe fits. Through some quirk of fate and happenstance, somewhere along this storied life journey, Dan crossed paths with the folks at Rapla, developing both a professional relationship and a lifelong friendship with the preeminent movers, shakers, fish heads, and finlanders that make Rapla the envy of the fishing world. Joining the Rapla crew on a number of worldwide fishing adventures, together they stretched many lines, ripped countless lips, and drained more than a few drops in the eternal quest for the fountain of youth and the lost civilization of Margaritaville. It's a dirty job, but someone still has to do it. To Dan, the folks at Rapala applaud your convictions, professionalism, and continued pursuit of fishing excellence. I've been working out three days a week just to be Mr. Lindner's anchor boy for this cat wrangle. Don't tell me that. Go get him. Yeah, you get him. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Oh, got him. Although you apparently haven't yet reached that elusive plateau, there is indeed one lesson we can all learn from the humble and generous master of sharing fishing education and knowledge. To catch good fish, a good fisherman you need not be. Hmm? Catch fish with Rapala, you can. <laughs> now this is a, this is what catfishing is about. <laughs> this it really is action. <laughs> I, was I got a whole handful of fish guts <laughs> all over my clothing. All over my oh, he got off. Oh, it was a good one too. Oh well, that's life. I'm not living right. Yeah! Yeah! Keep moving, moving, moving. Oh, they're disapproving. Keep them doggies moving. Hard. Don't try to understand them. Just roll, roll and brand. Soon we'll be living high and wide.